Spokane man suspected of killing his own daughter with a pattern of abuse admits being a bad parent but denies doing anything that led to her death. KXLY 4's Jeff Humphrey is live in the newsroom tonight. Uh, Jeff, Jonathan Lytle's videotape statement was played in court today. And this hour-long video, Robin, is the most graphic representation of how abuses that would shock almost any parent had become an accepted form of behavior with the Lytles. If this videotape is played in court, it will be very powerful evidence. I'm Brian Ham, the police officer. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. The recording starts detailing the list of abuses Summer Phelps faced the last day she was alive. John Lytle admits to hitting the child with a belt, but says it was wife Adriana who put a shock collar around her neck. It was supposed to be in place of uh, Summer getting spanked in her head or stuff like that. Because I, I told Adrian to find a different way, find a different way without hitting her. Lytle then explained to detectives that he was watching television when his wife called him into the bathroom, saying Summer had apparently slipped under the water in the tub. I walked in there, I saw Summer down on the bathroom floor, and I saw Summer's eyes actually half. Lytle says the couple performed CPR on the child for 10 minutes before taking her to the hospital, but Summer never regained consciousness. Lytle blames Summer's death on his wife, Adriana. What do you think happened to your daughter? Tonight? Yes. I believe that Adriana dumped her a little too long. Summer was underneath the water. She opened her mouth, sucked in water, and got it into her lungs. That's what I believe happened. Adriana Lytle has now pleaded guilty in this case and could be called to testify for or against her husband. However, also in this videotape, John Lytle admits dunking Summer at least once, and that's why he's facing the same charge as his wife. Look for opening statements in John Lytle's trial coming up on Monday here on KXY4 at 6.